This is a story of Christmas. It is a story about two boys. One, of course, is the boy Jesus, who was born over 2,000 years ago in Bethlehem. The other is a boy named David. He was born in Glenview. It is Christmas Eve in Glenview, and David has been out caroling with some of his friends. Right now, he is looking up at the sky. It seems to him that he can see a zillion shining stars. But try as he will, he cannot see the brightest star that ever shone, the star of Bethlehem. He wishes he could see it. He wishes so hard that that night he has a dream, a dream about stars and angels and that very first Christmas so long ago. One day, before Jesus was born, Mary, his mother, went walking in the fields. Suddenly, a wondrous thing happened. 
Listen to how the story is told in the Bible. Then was the angel Gabriel sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to Mary betrothed to Joseph. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw the angel, she was greatly troubled at its saying, and wondered what manner of salutation this might be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaiden of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. And full of the wonder of this child she was to bear, Mary danced for joy in her dreams. When blossoms flowered me in the snows upon a winter night was born the child the Christmas rose the key Oh, mm -hmm. 
The day before the first Christmas, the road to Bethlehem was crowded. For Caesar Augustus, the ruler of the land, had decreed that every family in Israel should return to their hometown to be counted. And so it was that Joseph and Mary made the long journey from Nazareth, the village where they lived, to the town of Bethlehem, where they were counted in the census. But the crowd that had arrived before them had already filled the rooms where people could spend the night. Everywhere he tried, Joseph heard the same thing. There is no room for you in the inn. Finally, one innkeeper, learning that Mary would that night give birth to her child, took pity on her and said she was welcome to the use of his stable. In the stable, there was straw to lie upon and the warmth of the animals to drive away the chill. And so it was, while they were there, that the days were accomplished that Mary would be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Mm -hmm. Then it was that the star of Bethlehem rose in the sky, bringing new light into a world darkened by hunger and despair, by sickness and war. 
It was a star of hope. If only people would take to heart the message this child was born to bring. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are they that mourn, blessed are the Yes, in his dream, David hears the Beatitudes on the night of Jesus' birth, for he knows that the hope of peace on earth and goodwill toward men is the real meaning of Christmas. Then a strange thing happens. In his dream, David is among the people of Israel. Many of the Israelites were nomads, people who didn't live long in one place, but roamed over the land, tending their flocks. For hundreds of years, their prophets had told them of the coming of a Messiah who would free them from oppression and lead them in the paths of righteousness. One of the greatest of their prophets was Isaiah, who said, The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Out of Bethlehem shall come forth he that is to be ruler of Israel, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him.
For hundreds of years, the people of Israel held fast to the hope that one day a savior would come to them. And that faith was still alive in the hearts of shepherds who kept watch over their flocks that Christmas night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. to pass, as the angels are gone away into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which the Lord hath made known to us. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, there came three wise men from the east, saying, Where is he that is king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. There's a song in the air, there's a star in the sky, there's a 
mother's deep prayer and the baby's low cry by the starings it's fire while the beautiful sing for the manger of Bethlehem cradles a king there's a tumult of joy for the wonderful bird for the virgin sweet boy is the lord of the earth by the starings it's fire while the beautiful sing for the manger of bethlehem cradles a king and lo the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was.
Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star and are come to worship him. Bethlehem plain, gold I bring to crown him again, king forever ceasing, never over us all to reign. Frankincense to offer have I, incense owns a deity nigh, prayer and praising all men raising worship him god most high myrrh is mine its bitter perfume breathes a life of gathering gloom sorrow in sign bleeding dying in the stone cold tomb.
David has seen the star, and now he knows that we can all offer our gifts at the manger, just as the wise men and the children of all nations have done. The baby Jesus born this night. Some children see him lily white, with dresses soft and fair. Some children see him bronzed and brown. The Lord of heaven to earth come down. Some children see him bronzed and brown with dark and heavy hair. see him warm and died this savior whom we feel beside some children see him warm and died with skin of yellow hue some children see him dark as they sweet mary's child whom we Pray. Some children see him dark as they, and ah, they love him too.
all the people of our own church have brought their gifts to the Christ child. But seeing the three wise men reminds David that the message of Jesus is a promise of new life for all the children of the world. For all of us, he said, are brothers and sisters. So David's dream of Christmas cannot be complete until he has led to the manger the children of all the world. I have come as a light into the world, that whosoever believeth in me shall not abide in darkness. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid, for lo, I am with you always. In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. So spoke Isaiah. In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. There was no room for him, for them, in the inn. If we take away the angels and their songs, if we take away the kings and their star. What is left for us is a frightened couple and a newborn child, and there was no room for him 
in the inn? Is there room for him in your hearts? For us, that's the question. In this wilderness where we live, make room and hear the angels sing and see the star and follow the one whose life is our life, whose love becomes our love, and in whose footsteps we find peace. Go with the blessing of the goodness and the grace of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.